all right guys in this brief video what we're going to be doing is i'm going to be showing you how crystal and saga have made easily over four million dollars in one year with a youtube channel okay and what we're going to be doing is we're going to also be looking at um crystal her fraud pack and i'm going to show you the real evidence the real proof of this this con artist and a thief and um i have the receipts and um we're also going to show you how how these tech oligarchs have been funding them and i'm going to show you all of this in this video but first i want y'all to listen to this this is the start of all of this right here hello everybody welcome to our youtube channel thank you to the forty thousand of you who've already subscribed you got now did you hear what he said he wants to thank the forty thousand members paying members forty thousand now look at this they have eight hundred eight hundred and ten thousand youtube subscribers but they have 40,000 paying members and they don't have a $5 um, uh, payment threshold. It's $10. So that's 40,000. Now listen, listen to them. Listen to them. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Thank you to the 40,000 of you who've already subscribed. Okay. Now let's do some math. We're going to do 40,000 times $10 a month. That's four hundred thousand dollars a month. Okay, now we're gonna do times twelve months. Four point eight million dollars, right there. Okay, now you can see why he's so happy. He's so smiling because these neocons they are really putting on a class act of fraud and con. I mean, they have people really thinking that they are that they are something good. These are corporatist liberal right wingers. These guys are political hacks. That's what they are. Okay. Now I want to show y'all not, now I want to show y'all something that, now this is even more troubling. This money right here. This is now, I want y'all to listen to this because this was really troubling. This is more troubling than, than the 4.8 million. I want to show you. Now listen to what he says right here. It's, time. it's a sad time and it's a dangerous time, but there is not a reason to give up on the fact that every day, the harder we work and the more people that we expand and more that we actually can change with the status quo. You know, change feels like it's not happening and it happens all at once. So to that, we have a year two plan. I showed this already to the premium people. Let's put this up there on the screen, which, oh, sorry, this is the lifetime members one. Actually, yeah, shout out to all of them. Give a we finally thank you. got the, uh, yeah, special thank you to all of them. They were really the foundation. And to those of you who continue to sign up, like, I just want you to know how much we appreciate it, how much it helps fund our mission and to help build our mission. And of course, we have it here on the set, the all of the plaques of all of your names, which you're a permanent part of at the end of every show, including the credit section. Let's throw the next one up there. Now, did you hear what he said? Did you hear what he said? He made a mistake and he said the premium. Now, the, the ones I showed you in the last clip, those were the premium. Those are the people that's paying $10. Okay. Now, this, this, I want you to listen to this again. Listen to this again. It's up there on the screen, which, oh, sorry, this is the lifetime members one. Actually, yeah, shout out to all of them. Uh, that's what he said. He was, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. I meant, the, I'm, I didn't mean a premium. I meant the lifetime. Now, I want to show you all this. Look at this. The lifetime. These people are paying fifteen hundred dollars. Did you see that big board? That is the lifetime members. Who the who the hell gives fifteen hundred dollars to a YouTube channel? Now, guys, look at this. This is now it's ten dollars a month, but if you pay for the year, it's a hundred. But who gives fifteen hundred dollars up front, guys? This is fifth. If you do the math, a hundred. This is fifteen years worth of a hundred dollar a year payments. Fifteen years. And you're going to pay that up front for a YouTube channel? Most, most people, most people that watch these independent, um, YouTube channels don't have $1,500 to give at one time for, for a show that might not even be here. Guys, they pay 15 years worth of, of, of Crystal and Saga. They might not even be together that long. But why? Who get, why? Why are they giving $1,500 a piece to, to YouTubers? Why? It makes, no sense. And, and you, and, and if you heard what they said, now I'm, I'm gonna go back and I want you to listen to what they said because they're like, you funded us. That's how they got that $50,000 desk they were bragging about on one of the other episodes. Now listen to them. Special we thank finally you. got the, uh, yeah, special thank you to all of them. They were really the foundation and 
to those of you who continue to sign up like i just want they were really the foundation they're the ones that funded this whole channel the, that's how they're able to pay for this office and all of these big production and these mics and all of this other fancy stuff that they have who the hell now guys this isn't like this isn't like oh we got lucky and two people gave us 1500 look at this board look at this now i actually i'm gonna enlarge this because i want y'all to see this because i actually did the math on this now i want y'all to look at this now look now, i'm gonna start at the top that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. That's 21 people in this row that gave 1,500. But let's go. Now, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All 12 of these are times 21 times 1,500. Okay? Now, this row, this row right here, this is 21. This row is 21. Uh, this row is 21 and this row is 21. So we got 12 right here. That's 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. Now we have all of these are 21, just like this first row. So now we have, what's that? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 plus D6. That's 22. Then we do these. That's, uh, 28. That's 28. Okay. These are 50. This is 50. This is 50. Okay, now let's go and all right, let's just do the 28 that we have so far. Let's do the 28. Okay, let me clear. Now, this was the 4 million that we started with. With the now, y'all remember the 4.8 million because this is where we started with when we came up with the uh 40,000 times the 10, 10, 400,000 a month times the 12 months. So, let's let's clear this number out for right now. But right now, we have 28. That's all of the rows, 28, and that's 21 in each row. So that's times 21 in each row. We came up to 588. That's, guys, that's 588 people that gave $1,500 just from these rows. Now let's go back and finish counting. Now this is the row of 50. This row is 50. Okay, now let's, let's add that in. So that's 100. And um, let's see, that's plus 1. Hundred, okay. Now we're we're still not done yet. We're not done because we didn't count these. Oh wait, um, we still wait. Wrong one. Let's enlarge this. We still have to count these. Now these were seventeen up here and seventeen down here, so we got thirty-four more. Okay, let's come in here and let's add the thirty-four. Okay, plus uh thirty-four. So we got 700 guys, seven, who, who was, who are these 722 people that gave them $1,500 to fund this channel? I mean, it's that seed money. This, I mean, this, this is, these are, these are tech oligarchs. And I'm going to show y'all the whole breakdown of the tech oligarchs too. I got the proof on all of that. But now we're going to do that 722 people times the 1500. Wait, that's not right. That's not right. 722 times 1500. That's not right. Uh, I'm messing up somewhere. Uh, uh, let me clear this. Let me clear this. 722 times 1500. There we go. Now that's right. Okay, I had all that other. Now, y'all. Okay, now that's right. 722 times. That's, guys, they have over a million dollars that was seed money to get this show started. Who gives 15 years worth of payments up front for a YouTube channel? Who does that? Who does that? I mean, the average, you could take every independent uh, news on YouTube, add them all up, and they would have to struggle to find 10 people. That would give them 1500. They have 722 people that gave them 1500. And they say, Oh, we want to thank y'all because y'all made all of this possible so that we could get the, y'all put up the money up front so that we could get the other 40,000 people that gave us the $10. So they, I mean, they, wow, that's crazy. So they, the, they, they took the million, got the studio, got everything set up. And then 
they swindled the rest of their audience for the ten dollar hits. Wow, this is crazy. But I'm but guys, we got oh, I got a lot more. And look, now I want to show y'all this is Jimmy. Jimmy's got a five dollar and a ten dollar. I'm on his ten dollar premium plan. These people have fifty <laughs> these people don't even have a five dollar. They have a fifteen hundred. I mean, this, 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 they're, they're already telling you that they are not for the poor people. You can't even get, you can't even get this without $10. 1500 Wow. But let's, let's, let's go a little deeper. Okay. Um, now this is when I was looking at, because I had already heard about Crystal and her scams and schemes. But now, um, this is, this is the first scheme. This is when she was actually running. This is, not really that serious. This was in 2011. If you just, I typed in, you know, Crystal Boss political scam. And this is what first came up. It, I mean, this is the Washington Post. But it's bullshit. You know, this is just like, um, this is just some personal bullshit. And I'm going to show y'all, look, um, they're like Crystal Ball. This is the Washington Post from like, I don't know, 2011. But, um, Crystal Ball from Scandal Star to Professional Pundit. Professional Pundit, okay? Now, uh, this is when they say she aired on Dylan Radigan, who's who's a national treasure at this point, on MSNBC. And um, there she was talking about female politicians and their sexuality and society's tendency to portray women as whores. Okay, no big deal. Um, this this was more like a just like a little a hit piece. It wasn't this this wasn't even a real scandal. This was just something that they used. And you can see right here. Okay, now um, this is when they talk about. The crystal ball this was in 2010 and they're saying she had no regrets for what she did and she really didn't do anything it's just you no know, all right you can you can see right here she was at a party goofing all i think this they said this was her first husband and i'm gonna show you all the the second husband too because that's a mess um but look now nobody really covered this story but of course look at jank here he is the young turks now look at here look at how look at this thumbnail it looks like they, they're about the kids it looks like they're about to put something up their nose but Typical jink. And then, then you go right under that. Look at this. Now, this is Crystal two years ago, CNN. So now we got Crystal on MSNBC, The Hill, and CNN. Typical corporatist, uh, shit lab. I mean, she is the worst of the worst. Okay. MSNBC and CNN and The Hill. Wow. But now, but now we're gonna, um, we're gonna just listen to a little bit of this. But it, like I said, this, this isn't the scandal that I was looking for because I'm going to show you all the scandal that I was looking for. This is her at a party. Um, Causing a big controversy in a congressional race. They showed the young woman candidate dress in a risque costume at a party six years ago. We'll talk to her live in just a moment. But now here's Jeremy Hubbard with her story. My dad named me Crystal Ball, so I know what it's like to be made fun of. But Even with a name like that, this Democratic House candidate couldn't have possibly the predicted the uproar over these embarrassing old photos. A conservative blog and then several other sites published the suggestive pictures taken at a party several years ago, showing Ball and her then-husband posing with a sex toy on his nose. A digital trail of youthful indiscretions. It is a new problem for candidates of the Facebook age. But instead of quitting in shame, the okay, like I said, nothing. That's nothing. That's just uh, that's that's like that's like um, that's like Republicans attacking um, Hunter Biden for being with prostitutes and doing drugs. I don't care about his personal problems. I care about him doing corrupt deals with China and Russia and Ukraine. I don't, I don't care about him doing his personal life. I don't care. This, this is just a typical, just a stupid smear piece. Nobody cares. Okay. Now let's get, let's, now I want to show y'all this. Now this is Crystal. Um, when, um, when they had that big, uh, thing with the, with the, uh, journalist that was killed over, I think, I think it was Palestine when, when Israel went over there to her funeral. I want y'all to see. Okay. Now. Okay. But now look at this. Look at this. Oh wait, what happened? Um, oh look, now I want to show y'all this. This is a, this is a, now this is the, the, the second, I guess, I suppose this is the second husband. I know she's been married. I don't know if she's been married two or three times, but this is her other husband. Y'all just saw the first husband that they showed you. Now this is the other husband. Now I don't know, you can't really see it, but right here, that's the star of David. Now she was just, she was just doing this big, um, this big, like she really cared about, uh, she was, look, I mean, she was just doing this big thing. Right here, she was just doing this. Oh my God! And all of this, right? 
and then turns around after she's pretending like she cares about this woman that Israel's attacking, and here's her husband with the son of David on him. I don't, I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can enlarge it. That's the son of David little thing. And look, the whole wall is covered with it. The whole wall. This is an this is an Israeli event. Now you probably you might not be able to see this, but it says American friends of Megan David Adam. Now I don't know what that is, but I know I see this the the six pointed star all over the place. Now this is that organization, Megan David Adam. Okay. Now, if you, oh, uh, yeah, I have I have no idea what they do. I just know they say is Israel Megan David Adam. Our second line of defense, uh, former Israel, Israeli prime minister, whatever, yes, give Rabin, whatever the hell that is. But, um, you can see that's, that's the event that they were at. And this is Crystal when she's pretending that she cares about Palestine. Crystal is like, and that's why I, I put on there that this is what they are. Corporatist liberal right wingers. That's what they are. Liberal right wingers. That's who these people are. Okay. Now. Let's come over here. I want to show y'all something else. Okay. Uh, this is what I had typed in. American friends of Megan, David, and Adam. And that website I just showed you, that's what came up. And then, I don't know. I was looking for something. And I don't know how the hell this came up. But Reddit came up and Jimmy was on it. I, I was looking for something. Um, I wasn't even looking for nothing with Jimmy. But some kind of way this came up. And here's Jimmy. And, and then I'm going to go a little deep into this. I agree completely. And again, I just I made some parallels to the whole Nick Brana thing. It, it just seems like... Kyle can't handle confrontation, I guess, is the problem. It's like, it's like he just flips out, just like Anna. And, you know, the same thing Crystal Ball did when she was accused of, of uh, financial malfeasance with that PAC she was running. Remember, she was running a PAC. Well, McClatchy newspaper did an investigation and found out that she was paying herself most of the money they raised, right? So, And uh, she accused them of sexism. That's what she did. That's Crystal Ball's flex. Just like Anna, when your back's up against the wall, I guess you accuse people of sexual harassment. That's what she did. Okay. Now, did you hear what Jimmy just said? Okay. About now, um, now I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all the proof. Okay. Because I was I was looking and I was like, uh, you know, with this Crystal Ball stolen money. And when I went through it, the only thing I could find at first, at first I found Crystal Ball's Democratic Pack. And but oh, now it's crazy. The Washington Post covered the thing. Now, Washington Post covered this crap. They call this a scandal when, when she's at a party goofing off. But none of them, none of them covered this when she was actually doing criminal activity. Nobody but the right wingers. Now, if you go to McClatchy that Jimmy was just talking about, if you come over here, it's behind a paywall. Okay? It's behind a paywall. If I can get it to show up. Uh, well, yeah, see, it's behind a paywall. But I don't need it because I have something better than that. Okay. Now, when you, when you click on these two, the Washington Examiner, the right wingers and Free Beacon, this is what they say. Oh, wait, wrong one. Okay. Um, this is Washington Examiner. Crystal Ball's Democratic PAC gives less than 3% of the money raised to candidates. Okay. We already know that. Um, and now they say the PAC were progressive, blah, 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 uh, run the house and the middle class Democratic and all of this. And, uh, let me see. Uh, but Federal Election Commission records show that of the nearly 120,000 a group raised last year, 69,000 was paid out to Ball, which it was worse than that. And I'm going to show you that. OK. And this is what the other one that I showed you. They say top Dems donors cutting ties with Crystal Ball organization over scam pack concerns. That's just um, that's just Republican smears because they. That you, I just showed you that they gave her a million dollars to, to fund that show. So, and this was like, I don't know, what, two years ago, three, four years ago, and they were saying that the Democrats were done with it. They, I mean, they just gave her a million dollars when she left the Hill to start a, to start a, um, a right wing, um, cons a right wing conservative so called independent network. Okay. Now, this guy here, now this guy, I don't know who he is, uh, Dan Monahan. I had never heard of him, but he says Crystal Ball running a scam pack that relied heavily on Silicon Valley donations is impressive, but not as impressive as keeping a day job where she accuses others of being corrupt for taking Silicon donations. And I'm going to show you what he's talking about. OK, now he has another um, thing where he says, let me see. His, where's, um, wait, it was the other one. I'm looking for because he says something. I can't find it now. Uh. 
that's not it. That's not it. I can't find it. But this is Don Monahan. And this is the guy right here. Don, Donald Monahan. He's uh he's an Irish American political scientist. He is the McCourt chair at the McCourt School of Public Policy at George Washington University, having previously worked at the University of Wisconsin. Okay. Yeah, he sounds reputable. But that's not but now we're gonna go now look at this. Now this is everything, right? Okay, now this is, this is, this isn't the hearsay. See, cause everybody, all of the Republicans, they were just talking about, oh, well, no, this, I'm, I'm, let me show you this. Let me show you this. Okay, now, pack summary data. Okay, now, um, look at this, the treasurer, crystal ball. Okay, now, what I want to show you all is this. Okay, they raised a total of $750,473. They spent seven thousand, I mean seven hundred thousand four hundred and whatever, whatever, and they began with nothing. Okay, but but what I want to show y'all is this. Let me um, this is this now this is funny, this is funny. Okay, now now look at this. This is the expenditures. Look at this, the salaries. This is her salary, out of seven hundred and fifty thousand. 521,000 went to their salaries. 69% went to them. So how much did they actually contribute to the candidates that the PAC was for? Seems like they got all of the money. Okay. Now, administrative. What the, what is this? 12, look, 12% went to administrative. Still nothing went to the candidates yet. Now, 69 and 12, I don't know, is that like, uh, I don't know. Uh, 69 and 10 would be 79 plus 81. So 81 percent of the money is already gone, and none of it's going to a candidate yet. Okay, contributions. They gave 48 thousand to I don't know who these contributions went to. That's another six percent, but that didn't go to the people that were actually running. Then they gave money for fundraising. Hmm. Fundraising. What the hell did they pay 30 thousand dollars for fundraising? I have no idea. Now, media, I would suppose that's ads, I'm supposing. Um, and then they have something, they gave 20,000 that's unclassifiable. I don't, so, so right now, we can see that they have blown and done a lot of, I don't even know what unclassified, I don't know what that is. But if you come down here, and they say administrative, um, that's travel and lodging, 38,000. So all these right here, these three, these three things here add up to the 95,000. That's right here, the 12%. That's the administrative. These three things here, the 38, the 24, the 19, all of those added up to 95. I've already done a math on it. Um, but I don't know what the, I don't know who's traveling lodging they were paying for, uh, what administrative data technology, data and technology and the accounts compliance and legal services. I don't know. I don't know, but I do know that five, I know at least 500,000 went in her pocket and whatever all, this other 95,000 went to. I have no idea what that is. And then miscellaneous administrative. I don't know what that is either. And, um, but I'll tell you something else that was interesting. They did, um, administrative event expenses and rent and utilities. But now this one, a con contribution to federal candidates. I don't know who this is, but, um, but those, I don't, I don't know if those, I don't even think those were people that were part of the pack. Um, but this is the thing that really, look at this. I want to show you this. Um, uh, where was it? They spent $22,000 on consulting. Now, any, everybody knows what consulting means. That's a, that's a handout. You know, who, they, I mean, who, who, they cons who, who's the consulting? You know, that's just, I mean, anybody can use, everybody uses consulting. It's like, you know, selling paintings. You know, I mean, it's just a money laundering tactic, you know, um, and then the fundraising fees was, was another 4,000. So that's 26,000. Um, then we have some more miscellaneous media. We, I don't know what that is. Uh, media production, that's 3,000. I don't know if this ads or something. I don't, they don't really say. And then they say something down here. They gave un, unclassifiable data and technology. That's another 10. All of this money in, all of this stuff, unclassifiable. Uh, you know, look, everything is unclassifiable. Every, this went to salaries. Uh, this money up here went to consultants. 
uh, where was it? This one to consider. Now, now I'm gonna show you how much they actually. Now, now we're gonna come back up here because I already showed y'all the salaries and and all the rest of this crap. But I'm gonna show you how much they actually gave to the candidates. Out of all of, out of seven hundred fifty thousand, this is how much that actually went to the candidates. Ninety five thousand out of seven hundred fifty thousand. Crystal got the five hundred twenty one thousand. But now you would think, I mean, ninety five thousand would be good if it was like three candidates. But I want to show you this. Look at this. I want to show you this. There is 15 candidates that she was giving money to. The highest one got 11,000. Now the pack is, is supposed to be to fund these candidates. The highest one, what, what the fuck can you do in a, I, I, I mean, I'm not a political strategist or anything, but I don't know what the hell you can do with $11,000 in a race. I, I'm not sure. And I don't know, like, and, and that's, this was the, the, the guy that got the most. Look at these down here. What, I mean, what's, what are they going to do with $4,000? 4000 4, 000, 4, 000, 6, What did I, nah, I don't know. I don't know what are they going to do. But um, And this is the next page. I mean, look at this. This guy's got $1,200. Forty-one. What the hell are you going to do with $1,200 in a, in a... I don't know. So, I mean, and like that guy like that guy said that she's always talking about... <laughs> what, let, me, let me go back. What did he say? He said, Crystal Ball running in a scam pack that relied heavily on Silicon Valley donations is impressive. But not as impressive as keeping a day job where she accuses others of being corrupt for taking Silicon donations. Now, now that was, now I just showed y'all all that. But I want to show you something that's even more crazy. Okay, now let's come up here. Now, I want to show y'all this. Okay, we did the expenditure. Did we do the expenditure? Yeah, we did the expenditures, right? Yeah, that was the salaries and everything. But I want to show you all this because this was like, wow, this really blew my mind. Look at the donors. Reed Hoffman, the billionaire, the billionaire tech oligarch that founded um, LinkedIn that he sold for billions. I think he sold it to Microsoft for billions, for billions. But I want to show you. We're going to come back to him. We're going to come back. But look how much he gave. $245,000. Wow. Out of out of out of the out of the seven hundred, he gave them a quarter of it. Why? Why? But now, who's this? Who's this? I don't know. They sound like a Jewish last name, Schuler. Stephen G. Schuler sounds like a uh, I don't know. But this guy, um, I don't know who's this. Uh, KCG Holdings. Uh, that sounds like I don't know. That sounds like something big. Sounds like somebody very important. But he gave one hundred and seventy-three thousand. Then someone else in his office gave sixty-six thousand. Who are these people? But I want to show y'all this. All right. But I want to show y'all the name because we're gonna come back to him. Um. But I want to show y'all this. This guy, Sam Altman. Y'all know who this is? Look at why. I don't know if y'all know anything about why it combinated, but that's something real big in like Silicon Valley. These guys invest in a lot of startups and stuff. But what's even more, um, what's even more strange is that this is the, this is one of Elon Musk. This is one of his buddies. All right. Let me, um, Sam Altman. Okay. This is the guy right here. He's an, um, an entrepreneur, investor, programmer, and blogger. He, oh, he and, um, Elon were part of this open AI. And I don't know if you guys know about open AI, but that's, they use a lot of that machine learning and, um, they call it GP3. No, GPT3. And it's like this advanced, um, it's advanced technology. I use a lot of it for, um, because they use it for a lot of, um, for writing. Like if you do blogs and stuff, they have this software. I buy a lot of this stuff on this, uh, AppSumo. And, um, they give you these lifetime deals, but these are the guys that's behind that technology. And, um, I mean, this stuff can write blogs. You type in a few words, it'll write a whole blog for you in, I mean, like in, in seconds. That's how smart this stuff is. They had the GPT, GPT2. Now it's upgraded to the GPT3. And these guys, I mean, this, this is some advanced stuff and it's like really advanced. And, um, and if I put in like, and Elon Musk, see, um, uh, Sam moment. I love seeing Elon win. His companies are important, but uh, I was trying to find where they show where, um, the messy secret of reality behind OpenAI bid to save something. But see right here, they said, uh, it is 
a darling in Silicon Valley counting Elon Musk and legendary invent, in, investor Sam Altman amongst its founders. Okay. Now I want to show y'all this. Now this is, uh, AppSumo. This is what I was telling you about. Come here. I buy so much stuff here because they give you so many deals. But, um, this is AppSumo. You can get all kind of lifetime deals. You can see I just bought something today. But, um, you, you, there's, there's all type of software and stuff that you will spend monthly on. You can get it for one time payments. I buy so much of this stuff. It's ridiculous. Um, but let me get back. But, a lot of this machine learning that they that they sell on this place, a lot of the technology comes from Elon Musk and that guy Sam Altman with OpenAI and GPT-3. But let's get back. OK, now let's who I want to know who the hell is who is KCG Holdings? Who is this? I have no idea. Who is KCG Holdings? Let's go see. Um, KCG Holdings is an American global. Wow. They're dealing with the globalist is an American globalist, go, uh, global financial service firm engaging in market. Oh, they're engaged in market making high, oh, high frequency trading. You know, they have money to get into high frequency trading because these people spend hundreds of billions, millions and billions of dollars to just get one second faster than the competition. High frequency trading is some very expensive stuff to get involved with. Electronic elect, uh, execution and in institutional sales and trading. The company was formed on July the 1st, 2013. Huh. Wow. Look at this. Look at their revenue. And, and yet they're talking about their independent media and, and, and you know, and their subscribers are paying for it. I just showed you. I just showed you Sam Altman, who is like a tech oligarch billionaire that's behind some of the most advanced machine learning that there is and he's elon musk friend and these people are globalists that they see right here with financial services and they're controlling over a billion dollars in revenue but now i want to show you all now and and if you look at this you can see all of these and i don't even know like i said this is another guy from the same company this guy here gave 173,000 this one gave 66,000 this is another investor i don't even know he's out of now these guys and i mean but look at all of the places you got san francisco chicago you got new york i mean they they've hit all of the big look princeton new jersey princeton new jersey i mean that's what princeton is look new enterprise associates these people are dealing with and and guys y'all can I'm I'm scrolling slow enough where you can get the information if you want to just go you can just type in these people and you can go look them up and see who they are for yourself and then uh his crystal ball people's house project and this is just one of 25 but there's 120 on record this this is just 125 I mean 125 but now this is now this is the big and they spelled this wrong it's supposed it's not supposed to be uh gay lock it's supposed to be gray lock huh but anyway let's let's come over here and uh yeah i knew that was wrong uh okay gray lock um now um uh they are a management corporation doing business as gray lock partners operates as a venture venture capital firm these are the people that are supporting these people I'm trying to find, um, oh, now look at this. Let me see if this is it. Now, now this, now, now, wait, before I go into here, let me show y'all, let me show y'all this. Now, this is Reed Hoffman that gave her 245,000. Okay. We come over here. Uh, they're not showing it. Why are they not showing it the way? Um, okay. Reed Hoffman is an American internet Entrepreneur, venture capitalist, podcaster, and author. Hoffman was the co-founder, co-founder, and executive chairman of LinkedIn. Okay. A business oriented social network used primarily for, for professional networking. Okay. This guy is worth $1.7 billion. The guy is worth $1.7 billion and he just gave crystal ball. $245,000 along with Sam Altman and some other globalists from Chicago. Okay. And that's just, that's just three of them. I didn't even go through. It's like 120 of them that thing said, but I didn't even go through all of them. You know, like I said, this, this thing says that, um, it's 120 on record. I just showed you three of them and you can already see their sleeves bags. Um, 
But another thing I want to show you, this is what I want to show y'all. Wait, let me come back. Where's Greylock? Because I want to show y'all who these people are. Um, I can't find it now. Uh, let's see. I got so many windows open. But let me just come back and do this again. Okay. Let me just come back. Okay. Uh, okay. Here it is. Now, this is what I want to show y'all because the guy that, that, um, these are the companies. Is this it? Um, I want to show y'all. I'm trying to find it. If this is it. Oh, can't find it now. Well, here's Reed. Uh, LinkedIn founder. This is, you know, this, this is his, uh, wow. Let me see. In the third LinkedIn, um, Greylock partnered with LinkedIn in 2004 when the company had fewer than a million members. LinkedIn went public in 2011. The company was acquired by Microsoft for $26.5 billion from another oligarch, Microsoft. Okay. Now, I was looking for, ah, oh, I can't find it. I wanted to show you the, the companies that, oh wait, portfolio. Maybe this, maybe this will show it companies that matter look at the companies that these people that read is he's invested in airbnb facebook anybody that knows about all that bitcoin i don't know but coinbase discord that's a big thing airbnb facebook uh palo alto i mean all of these look nasdaq and what all of these on on stock exchanges i mean these are big deals next door that's that's a big deal too octa I know Coinbase is a big deal, and these guys are invested in all of this stuff. And this is this is other stuff that they're invested in. I mean, look at all of this. These people. I mean, and and they, and and Crystal and they're acting like, oh, we're uh, you know, we're independent. Bullshit. Bullshit. And as and in the same way, the same way, um, Kyle was talking about the Justice Democrats. The Justice Democrats. When I pulled up the records on them, they were getting all kinds of money from. He was like, oh, they don't take money. It's bullshit. Um, now I want to show you all this. Now this is something else I want to show. Now this is, uh, wait, um, I'm trying to think. Where am I? Uh, wait. Oh, now this is, now I want to show you all this. Wait, where is it? That's not it. Uh, that's not, I can't find it. I have so many windows open. Um, uh, Wait, which one, which one am I looking for? I'm looking for the one. Oh, um, ah, oh, I can't remember where it's at. Oh, this one. Now look, now this is Hold the House with Nancy Pelosi, all right? This is what she did a couple years ago. And, all right, she's featuring. She's got shithole, uh, Hillary Clinton. But look, I want to show y'all this. The same people, the same person that was funding, uh, look. There's Reed Hoffman, and he's on Nancy's co-chairs. The same guy that's donating to uh, uh, Breaking Points. Same guy donating to Nancy Pelosi. That that explains why they, uh, why Kyle, while uh, Kyle or Crystal, none of them have has said one word about Ukraine. They haven't said anything about the forty billion dollars. They haven't said one thing about the squad not standing up. And the thing with the squad is. That was the perfect time for them to virtue signal and act like they cared. Because, I mean, only they, you got 423 people in the House. 57 Republicans voted against it. So that means you still have over 300 and something. Th those six of them could have been like, hey, we vote against it. You made them look good. It was going to pass unanimously anyway. They could have easily got some cheap points for saying, hey, we stood up. You know, hey, we did something. That just shows you that the Democrats do not give a damn at all because that was the easiest virtue signal they could have ever done in their life. This was the first time that they could have actually stood up and it meant nothing. And they could have just went up there and said, hey, we said, no, 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 don't give it to them. I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to pass unanimously. 423 people and only 50, 50 Democrats. 50 Democrats and 57 Republicans. That would have only been like, what, 107 out of 423? Still would have been passed unanimously. Not one Democrat even virtue signaled and even pretended that they were against the wall. That is, that is saying a lot about the Democrats. But anyway, now, now, now this is on, back to, this is Nancy fundraiser. The same guy, 
Same guy. Read Hoffman. But I want to show y'all something else. Let me find this other asshole. Now look at this. This is another guy that was at, look. This is Jeffrey Katzenberg donating to Hillary Clinton. Jeffrey Katzenberg. And look. Here's Jeffrey Katzenberg donating to, to Jink. $20 million. Same guy. Same guy that's at, at the ball with Hillary. I mean, with, uh, yeah, with Hillary and Nancy. Same guy. Exact same guy at the ball with them. <laughs> this is crazy. $20 million he gives to them. Okay. Now, um, uh, let's see what else. Oh, look. Now look at this. This was something else. And this is a R grim job reported on this. Now, this is the same Nancy. Top Nancy Pelosi aide privately tells insurance executives not to worry about Democrats pushing Medicare for all. Okay? Wendell Primus told Blue Cross Blue Shield executives that Democratic leadership is more concerned with lowering drug prices and defending Obamacare. So, she's telling Blue Cross Blue Shield, don't even worry about it. It won't even get a floor vote. So, don't even worry about it. It's going nowhere. We won't even take a vote on it. But look, look at this. Number 13. Now look. These are Nancy Pelosi's contributors. Number 13. Blue Cross Blue Shield. <laughs> these people are so corrupt. It's ridiculous. She's telling these people don't worry about it. And she takes a 27,000 donation from them. Oh, wait. Uh, let me see. Was that? How much? Was that, was that the total? Oh yeah. That was the total. 27,000. But then you got individuals. And you got a pack they gave to them. So all of these people. Uh, Crystal Ball is getting money from the tech oligarchs. Nancy Pelosi is getting money from, and look, look at all these tech oligarchs. I guess, I mean, Disney at this point is, is a, is an oligarch. I mean, they, uh, a tech oligarch because they don't just do parks. I mean, they have, what, they have Hulu. That's, that's technology. They have, um, they have Disney Plus. That's some, I think that's the name of it, Disney Plus. I don't know. That uh, thing that they have streaming. You have Alphabet. That's Google. You have Microsoft. Look at all these people that's contributing to Nancy. Walt Disney, tech. Alphabet Tech, Microsoft, Facebook, Amazon, <laughs> Apple. <laughs> Look at this. This is crazy. AT&T. <laughs> oh, my God. You wonder why this fucking country is in the toilet. <laughs> and look. And I look at this. These are the richest, the 10 richest people in Congress. The richest is a Democrat. This guy's got over $200 million. Mark Warner. Over $200 million. And then you have like one, two, three, four. You have four Republicans, then you have another Democrat. But look at this. The richest woman in the top ten. The, look, three Democrats. Nancy Pelosi, Diane, uh, Diane, Diane out of her mind, Feinstein, and Suzanne, whoever the hell. I don't even know who this is. But she's got 79 million. Feinstein's got 87. Nancy's got 114. Five out of the top ten. Five. One. Uh, what's that other guy? Two. Three, four, five. These people aren't like, oh, I have five million. These people are a hundred millionaires, you know, and, and three women in here have more than, they don't have any Republican women. Republican women don't really have any power or anything. They just, they're like, you know, like that, uh, black guy can't think, of, like, they're just token people just to hold a position, you know, but other than that, wow, this is crazy. And, um, five out of the ten. And you wonder why we can't get anything done? But then we come over here, and then here's here's her boyfriend, uh, Kyle. Now listen to Kyle. This is Kyle. Goes down to the justice system. The justice system. Yet again, Justice Democrats has the solution. Let me introduce you to Alexandria Ocasio. Uh, she worked for Bernie Sanders' campaign in the Bronx, worked very hard for him, traveled to Standing Rock during the standoff that was happening there. Why? Because she actually cares about the issues and she cares about the people. She studied economics and international uh, relations. She's taking no corporate money, no PAC money. This is to be a justice Democrat. You ha that's a requirement. You can't be a justice Democrat if you're taking corporate and PAC money. She's taking no corporate money, no PAC money, and uh, she's for a new New Deal. She's going to push that. She's going to push for ending private prisons, end the drug war. How many, how many lives have been ruined because of private prisons where they try to find new, lobbyists try to find new ways to lock people up because they make more money the more people are locked up. She's going to fight on these issues. She's also going to fight for free college. She's right there on Medicare for All. She's right there on re-regulating Wall Street. Every area where Representative Crowley has failed you and sold out, 
she's gonna be there to fix it. She's done none of that. Now, I actually did this a year ago, right? And Kyle, now, Kyle, now, if you look at this date on here, st- wait, if you look at the date on here, this was Kyle in 2017, okay? But now look, it's still 2017. Now listen to Kyle here. Look at this. Because we're actually doing it. It's actually happening. Uh, and you ready for this? The most incredible fact yet. Guys, we did it. We crossed the million dollar line. We we didn't even launch this thing that long ago. We already passed a million dollars. The exact number is $1,024,387 raised so far for Justice Democrats. Guys, did you hear that? Oh, wait, for, ju- for, brand new Congress. for Justice Democrats in brand new Congress. Guys, a YouTuber, a YouTuber raised over a million. Hey, sir, you already said it didn't take us that long to raise his money for the for the Justice Democrats. What the, who the hell is giving a million dollars to a YouTuber? This is, I mean, yeah, these these people have been long time Democratic hacks, and and it's crazy because you know, um, Crowley, if if Crowley if Crowley didn't get the big head. And decide that he was going to try to primary Nancy Pelosi. We wouldn't even know who AOC is. Because Crowley was in. Not, Crowley was like a 19 year corporate Democrat. And he had. He, he wouldn't win anywhere. He, until he tried to uh, get rid of uh, Nancy Pelosi. He won the primary. And that's what happened to him. And you think that. that uh, you, think, you think AOC is going to go against. Um, you think she's going to go against the Democratic Party when she saw what the Democratic Party did to Crowley and she's the one that did it? She's not going to go against those people. She get primary too. Okay. Now, now this, now, now look, now this is, this is Crow. This is Kyle four years later. This is in 2021 when I shot this episode. I differ from some of my lefty friends is that a lot of people like to argue that like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Ilhan Omar and fill in the blank with whatever justice Democrat, they're now corrupt. Just like Nancy Pelosi. No, words have meaning. The word corrupt means something very specific. You're taking money from certain donors and you're doing favor for them. That's what corrupt means. They're not doing that. They're not corrupt. They're just simply not the same as Nancy Pelosi. So you're fucking factually wrong if you make that case. But they do have DC brain, which is basically a rotten brain where you get there and you're now you're involved in the culture. You're surrounded by these people. These are people you fucking eat lunch with and see every day and you learn yeah, their personal correct. stories. And so now the group thing takes over. And it's you don't want to be the sore thumb that sticks out. The game mentality. You, you don't want to be the sore thumb that sticks out because guess what? If you do the sort of grandstanding fighting politics that I want you to do, everybody's going to fucking hate you. Everybody in D.C. is going to hate you. Everybody in the media is going to hate you. It's a lonely fucking world. So guess what? That's where the individual failing comes in because even though it's really hard and you're really... That's... God, stale. I mean, four years later, after all of the failures that they've done, after everything they've done, he's still... From 2017 all the way to 2021, they've lied. Everything he said in that first video, she's she's all for this. She's, I mean, guys, you can you can go back and play it back and listen to all of the things that he said that she was gonna do. She's for Medicare for all. She's for a brand new deal. She's for the. She did none of it. And then four years later, he's still sheep herding. Now let's go to the next one. Now he is. Now look. Now this is just last month. What's, wait, what month is this? This for June? Well, like a month and a half ago. Now listen to him here. Oh, wait, did it fr- it froze up on me? Um, and so, Crystal, why don't you go ahead and tell them what the news is on Nina Turner and, you know, why we're recording this in a car at a very awkward time. <laughs> yeah, so, um, there's two things. There's, actually, there's good news and there's bad news. I'll start with the good news, which is that Senator Barnard Sanders has come in to endorse Nina in her race for Congress. Now, that's the good news. Did you hear that? That's the good news. That Bernie Sanders, who sold the, who sold people out, in 2016 to Hillary fucking Clinton and then turned around and sold people out to Biden and this is the good news so uh, guys if this is the good news what the fuck could be the bad news let me go back a little bit because this is this this is what Crystal says she's gonna start with this is the good news that Senator Bernard Sanders has come in to endorse Nina in her race for Congress as you guys probably know and recall she ran this is her second time running for Congress um, last time around, she narrowly lost in the Democratic primary in a special election to Chantel Brown, corporate-backed candidate, tons of outside money flooded in from 
corporate interests, pharmaceutical interests, uh, Trump back backing Republicans. I mean, every sort of like nefarious group you can imagine came in to flood the zone for Chantel Brown, who ends up winning by about six points. So Nina has decided to run again. Um, and there are some re reasons to believe this time might be different than the last time. In particular, the district lines are drawn a bit differently and include a more progressive electorate. So that's the backstory. Good news is... I'm not going to worry about going into it because um, you, you get the gist of it. You can see that from 2017 to the one I showed you before this one where this is like in um that's, what uh, ended. that's last year and then you can see this year they're still talking about good news is Bernie Sanders that's the good news after all the shit Bernie's done now let's see now here they are this is another video of them in the car now this is another another date now listen to this She says Bernie doesn't have that that killer instinct. Now, now, mind you guys, this is this is not the same video. They're talking about Bernie again. They're talking about he doesn't have the killer instincts. Now listen to this. Thank keep skipping. Oh, come on. So if he runs again, I mean, I just, like, I have no choice but to support him. That, that's obvious. I mean, I agree with him more than any other potential candidate. Um, he really cares about this stuff. But it, it does have to be said that strategically, it was embarrassing what happened last time. Because I was in contact with Faz, and I remember when Bernie took that shellacking for the first time on Super Now, I'm, I'm not going to go. I just want to show you that Kyle actually sat there a month ago saying that if Bernie ran again, he would have no choice but to support him again. This guy. But I mean, guys, you, you've seen all of the money that these people have been touching. Jink and Kyle, when they were together. And, and when I showed you all that, that, uh, that picture with Jink getting that 20 million dollars, when I showed you the picture, the, uh, the video with Kyle getting a million those video that that was like three months apart in 2017 that was that was kyle got kyle got like a million dollars he said in no time and like um that was like i think april or may and then uh jink let me see um i can't remember where it's at wait let me see jink got his in august of uh, august 8 2017 and that, that video that i showed you with kyle that was like three months before that so i mean these people have been grifting for a long time and then I showed you now, um, Kyle and Jink were the ones behind the Justice Democrats. J Kyle made got a quick million. Uh, Jink got 20 million. I just showed you that Crystal, she racked in 4.8 million off of 40,000 subscribers. She got another million dollars off of, um, off of, off of the 1500 donors. The, I mean, the $1,500 donors, 722 of them. And then she got, then she was getting corporate. Pack money from fucking Reed Hoffman and, and uh, Sam Alton and some other people. I mean, these people are so corrupt, it's ridiculous. Let me see, where did I leave off? Um, what's this one? Oh, wait, that's another one. Uh, now, now here's Kyle here. I can't say, oh, why didn't you show up? Like, uh, I'm going to criticize you for that. And then when she shows up, go, oh, why'd you show up? Now I'm going to criticize you for that. No, 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 no. Then, then it becomes non-falsifiable because you're going to criticize her no matter what she does. So you have to be honest. And you have to say, look, if my criticism is, I want you to show up. So just show up and then you'll get credit. Then when you show up, I'm going to give you fucking credit. Because I'm honest. I'm not a hack working backwards from my conclusion. 
delusion of like, AOC's gotta be bad because AOC bad. No, when she does bad things, I will say, that is bad, and then when she does good things, I will say, that is good. So this is an instance of AOC doing something good, Bernie Sanders doing something good. I wish they were there for the original portion of it, for the first race. They weren't, we can criticize for that, but now they're here for the fight now, and that's all we can ask for. They, we don't have a fucking time machine to go back to make them go to those previous rallies and the union drives. But if they're showing up now, full credit now. Full credit. So good on her for hearing the criticism, reacting appropriately. Good on her for reaching out to Chris Smalls after previously she didn't act in the best way. And so full credit. So Bernie Sanders is now pressuring Biden on Amazon unions. Quote, the time for talk is over. While Senator Bernie Sanders' Amazon antagonism is no surprise, his squeeze on Biden signals a new phase of his pro-union strategy. Bernie Sanders says Joe Biden, the most pro-union president he's ever seen, at least rhetorically speaking, now he's leaning on his 2020 primary rival to match those words with action. The Vermont senator sent Biden a, t a Tuesday letter obtained by Politico asking the president to cut off federal contracts to Amazon until the massive company stops what he calls its illegal anti-union activity. As the Senate Budget Committee chair, Sanders going. will... But anyway, now, once again, he's saying that you're wrong if you don't say that AOC did right this time. Fuck, Tucker Carlson picked this up before AOC did. I guess she did feel bad after Tucker did it, you know. She was like, "Oh, I got to do something," and he's like, "Well, you know, don't." Well, even though she didn't do anything at first, and then she she bullshitted around. Uh, when she did finally come around, you should give her credit for finally doing what she was supposed to do from the start. Wow, this is Kyle. Now, guys, I, do, do do you see do you see the time progression? We went all the way from 2017, and he's still doing the same shit. I mean, just last, I mean, that same month he was talking about vote for Nina. Don't make to Nina. He had Nina on the show. You know, then he brings on Marianne Williamson talking about she should be, she should run for president. Anybody that Kyle endorses, I already know they are complete shit lib. And if he's endorsing Marianne Williamson, I know she's a complete shit lib. If I had any doubts before that, that she was a shit lib, I 100% am certain that she is. If Kyle in, in, uh, and, um, Crystal is bagging them. And the only people, the only people, that even back Nina was Crystal and Kyle, uh, the Young Turks, and Jordan Sheraton. All of these, all, all of the same people that are political, that are, are connected. They're all connected. And they, all of these shows, I mean, like, if you come in here, if you come in here and, uh, and you go, and you look at all of, like, just look at Kyle's videos, and it, I mean, Kyle used to, like, Stand for something. I mean, years ago, even when he was talking about AOC years ago, I mean, it sounded convincing. She's for this. She's now he's now his whole show is just bullshit. I mean, at least back then, but he's got to understand on it. Look, look at this. I mean, he's talking about, you know, Jimmy Kimmel. Wow, Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel grills Joe Biden. Jimmy Kimmel, a fucking corporate hack, is grilling another hack. Oh my god. And, and the thing is, you know, I don't even look at Kyle's videos. I just when I do come to his channel. I come over here, I just read the headlines, and I say, okay, bullshit, 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 bullshit. And then I then I go over to TYT, I do the same thing. And I'll go through there, and I'll just look at the headlines, and I'm like, okay, nothing about the 40 million out, 40 billion dollars for this war. And what's so bad, they, they can't, they can't even, like, none of them can really even say anything about Ukraine, because Jimmy, Jimmy Dore, and, uh, and, uh, Jackson Hinkle, they've messed that up so bad for these guys because they would love to say Russia's wrong and we should fund them, but now they 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 just they just steer clear of it because they they can't even touch it because they already know that everybody knows that these people are a bunch of corrupt Nazis, so they don't even touch it. Now they just do soft soft touches, you know, you know, AOC, uh, the U.S. is no longer a democracy; it's an oligarch. Why isn't he talking about AOC giving forty billion dollars to support a fucking war, a thirteen billion? And you know the crazy part is we talk about the forty billion and the thirteen billion, but we don't even talk about they gave him eight hundred million once, then they gave him another eight hundred million, so that's twice, and then they gave him seven hundred missile, uh, seven hundred billion, uh, seven hundred million for these special missiles. But everybody, but that's those those three have got the eight hundred and the eight hundred and the seven. That's got buried. Oh, because everybody's so focused on the 40 billion and, and, uh, 13 billion that they forgot about those other three. I didn't forget it because I have them bookmarked somewhere. What, every time he gives them money, I bookmarked it somewhere. I can't remember. But, um, but I mean, look at this, everything. 
And he's still talking about Steve Bannon. Oh my God. You mean to tell me these people are sitting up here talking about January 6th and, and bullshitting and he's talking about, he, they, they're bullshitting with January 6th. He's talking about Steve Bannon. He's talking about fucking Dave Rubin. Look at this shit, man. Oh my God, man. What the fuck happened to, I mean, Kyle is just, wow. I can't believe I used to actually watch this fucking shithead. Oh wow, this is man, this is bad. This is so bad. Also, uh, everything Republican bad, Republican bad, Republican bad. I'm sp- uh, where's uh, Tucker bad? And it's sad because I actually it's it's crazy because even though Tucker's a piece of shit, it, it's I, I can actually tolerate Tucker more than anybody on CNN, MSNBC, Crystal and Kyle, TYT because at least Kyle, um Tucker's just who he is. These people pretend that they're not that. That's that's what's bad. That's what's bad about them. You know, I mean, Democrats couldn't even fucking virtue signal for saying, hey, hey, look, Nancy could have said, hey, y'all six, y'all vote against the wall so we can keep the party together so that we can look good for the midterms. Nope. Nope. Everybody just going to vote for it. We're not going to even virtue signal. Fuck, fuck the voters. We don't give a shit. We're not going to even pretend. But look, here they are. Look, look at Nina Turner. Look. A month ago, a month ago. Look at this. They're still covering Nina. This was a month ago. These breaking points covering Nina. Three times they covered this hack. Who the fuck? Man, these people are so shitty. Wow. Oh, look. Here's when, um, 2018. Like, uh, when I showed y'all Kyle was bragging on, she's gonna do all of this. Well, she took him out in 2018. Okay. And then look, after she did it, look at this. Look at this. AOC on the late night shows. Look at this. I mean, she's on every fucking. They made a celebrity out of her. She took care of Nancy Pelosi's enemy. And they made a fucking hero out of her. Look, she's on every fucking show. Look at this. She's on every fucking shit lib show. They made a hero out of her for taking out Crowley. This fucking bitch went from being a goddamn, what, a waitress or a bartender to being the most the most known Democrat probably ever. I think, fuck, damn near everybody knows who this, oh, God. And then, look, and look, even the, the view, the view hated her at one time, but then they realized that she was just as bad as the rest of them. And now, look, look at her. She's just smiling with them. Look at her. Oh, a liberal love. Oh, look at that. Oh, isn't that nice? They made a star. They made a star because she took out a corporate Democrat for Nancy. And you know what? Marcia Fudge, she was going to primary, she thought about primary and, um, Nancy. You know what Nancy did with her? Nancy played politics with, with Marcia. She gave her a committee seat and shut her up. Marcia had like 16 other Democrats that were talking about, no, we, you know, we're going to primary her. Nancy went and they gave her a committee seat. Marcia backed down and didn't, hey, you didn't hear anything else about it. But, but, um, but Crowley, he didn't, it didn't, it didn't turn out so well for him. He didn't, he didn't get a, <laughs> he didn't get a committee seat. He got, he got a seat at home. He got kicked out of there. And look, oh, look at, no. I mean, she's, look at this. She's at the Met Gala. Did, did, did y'all see all of the shit lip show? Did, guys, do you, do you think she's gonna go against all of this for the people that's poor and broke at home? I mean, guys, all of the people that put her in there, Jink, Kyle, did, they're just as bad as AOC. I mean, Kyle, I just showed you from 2017 to I showed you last year when he was talking about, oh, they're not corrupt. And now this year, and then the Justice Democrats, they went on CNN. I had the, I had the clip, but I didn't want to make this even longer. But I was going to say, because Kyle was like, well, we formed the Justice Democrats. I was going to bring the clip um, that I had with, um, with the Justice Democrats when they were sitting there on CNN, the head chick of the, the Justice Democrats. She's sitting on CNN endorsing Neera Tandon to be over at OMB, the Office of Money and um, Budget. And I, I was going to put all of these clips together, but then I, I took them out because I didn't want to go through all of it. But Neera Tandon was sitting on, on, on a show talking about, yeah, we need to cut Medicare and we need to cut Social Security. And she and, and these are the ones that the Justice Democrats was on CNN saying, yeah, we're voting for her. Neera Tandon. Who wanted to cut Medicare and Biden and Biden wanted to put her in there and Biden was on tape. I can show you the, the article of Biden. It, actually, 
rim job covered that too. Uh, the 40 years of uh, Biden trying to cut Social Security, Medicaid. Matter of fact, now I'm not going to go through it because this video is already over an hour. But but just know that I'll, I'll do a part two and I'll show you Mira Tandon that he wanted to put over the money wanting to cut Social Security and the, the videos of Biden wanting to cut the Social Security. And um, let's see. I guess we'll go ahead and let, let them take us out of here. So look, guys, if you can help us out, join the journey. Uh, we've got the premium link there. You're obviously all of the benefits. We have, you know, the extra shows. We have the reaction to each other's monologues, all of that. The AMAs, all of that is important. But really, you're investing in our ability to continue to grow. And look, we're not going to stop. So uh, honestly, in a way, we're only just getting started. Thank you to everybody who's on the ride with us. Thank you to all those premium people, those people who signed up on day one. You ne I'll ne we will never forget you. Yeah. You guys changed our lives. Right. You changed the show. You made it so that we could actually do something. And to all the people since then who signed up, you're only investing in something even bigger and better. So thank you so much to all of you. Uh, I, I mentioned this in the premium video, but I always think about, I went to a concert once and a guy said, thank you so much for sharing your hard earned money with us to come see us. And I think about that anytime. Uh, you know, I know how hard you guys work and I know how hard it is out there. <laughs> Did you hear that and all that. You invested. Yeah, fucking YouTube. What the fuck is he talking about investing? God damn. Most most YouTubers are usually saying, you know, I like to thank, you know, my, my supporters for giving me $5. They're talking about thanks for investing in us. What the fuck? It's a new a fucking YouTube show. No, it's not just a YouTube show. They had 40,000 people that gave them $4.8 million, And then they had fucking big wig tech oligarchs and god knows who else the other 722 people that gave them over a million dollars how much I, let me see if i still have it on the calculator yeah look at this huh. one point whatever zero eight three million from 722 people guys they had 40,000 people that gave them 4.8 they had 722 that gave them a million my God, how how do you get 722 people that give nearly close to the same amount as the people of 40,000? This is, this, wow, wow. And y'all saw when he was, when early in the, when I showed y'all early in the video where he was talking about, yeah, the people right here, these, the, the ones that gave us this million, they were the ones that uh, got us the studio. You know, that's what he was saying. They're the ones that gave us the studio and they're the ones that gave us the upfront money so that we can grift off the, off of our, off of our subscribers. And that's what they did. And then he just said, I like to thank y'all because y'all changed our lives. Hell yeah, but they changed your lives. You just made fucking over 4.5, 4.8 million plus another million. That's 5.8 million. Of course they changed your lives. You fucking made, goddamn. And Crystal was already a millionaire. You know, I showed y'all her husband. Her husband was in bed with the fucking Jewish alliance. Oh my God! That was husband number two. <laughs> wow, wow, wow! These people, these people are something else. These people are something else. And here's, here's the other, uh, here's the Jew, right there, the, with the, with the, uh, with the star of David. There he is, with the stars all over the wall. This is, this is our independent media right here. This, <laughs> wow. Wow, this is the independent media right here. These people are fucking. I showed y'all. She was on CNN, MSNBC, the hell. And I'm not talking about like back in the days when uh CNN was kind of you know they kind of were middle middle of the road like they had Democrats and Republicans. I'm talking about that was CNN two years ago when they were complete shit libs. Wow. Wow. And then we have, uh, oh, look at this. Oh, isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. Wow. The, I mean, Kyle, Kyle's been able, Kyle's been able to rack in over, I mean, four years, five years ago, he was able to rack in a million dollars for the Democratic establishment. And God knows how much they're racking in now. These people, I mean, they, they are political hacks and, and Kyle still, how still trying to get us a sheep. He's still five years later. He's still sheep herding. But I mean, the the amount of money they're making, T Y T, Kyle, 
uh, the MSNBC contract holder um, over on the majority. Uh, all of those people. That I mean, they, they these people are the worst of the worst. They are the worst of the worst. But guys, uh, I appreciate y'all watching this video. And um, yeah, this 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 is a mess. And this is the independent media saving lives in Israel. <laughs> do, do you see that sign? Saving lives in Israel. Wow. Thanks, and I'm out.